Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Uh, happy birthday, birthday morning, to Cardi. ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to. I just want to say that you're such a good friend. You know, it's so hard for people like to be around me because you know, <laughs> coronavirus, coronavirus. <laughs> It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Now this is the most expensive cake I have ever had. It was like $35, but totally worth it because. What's funnier than 24? 25. SpongeBob kind of looks like a bit of a crackhead. Not gonna lie. Now my friends, that's right. I am 25 years young. young? Is that how I 25, yeah, yeah, I'm 25 years younger. The older I get, the more I realize it's not about the big birthday parties, the big presents, it's about what you got. I got an incredible girlfriend, I got amazing friends. Hi, Jared. Aww. Oh, yeah, there we go. My quote of my 24th year of life is gonna be, the best thing to do is have a stockpile of toilet paper because you never know when a pandemic is gonna happen. And we're just gonna leave it at that. Well, my friends, since it is my quarter life crisis, I bought a child's craft set. That is right. As you all know, my favorite Disney character is Forky. Alice and I dressed up as Forky and Knifey for Not So Scary. Hi, I'm a uh, Forky. Trash. So guys, today we're gonna be making our very own Forky. Oh, it's fuzzy. Now, I used to do craft sets like this all the time with my grandmother. We would go to Joanne's Fabric and then just buy like little claymation dinosaur sets. Okay. You know what, let me, let me go get my Star Wars spork. Okay, so here we have our spork from Galaxy's Edge. Our Forky spork, so you know what, we're gonna make two for the price of one today. Okay, we have the Forky base. I think it was supposed to be clay. Little popsicle stick legs. Okay, we're gonna go for the traditional Forky. So one big eye, one small eye. All right, Forky can now see. Oh, here are the pipe cleaners. He's got three little fingers. Now my biology teacher in middle school didn't know how to say fingers. She only referred to them as fangers. Yeah, that's a special looking Forky right there. Oh, Forky. Let's give you a little, little mystery with your eyebrows there, yeah. Then let's give Forky his mouth. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. What is this? Oh, it's glue. It's oh, oh. This looks like a sad little chicken. <laughs> it's the one from Galaxy's Edge. You wasted? I didn't no. waste. Fork? No, I, I can just take it off. Forky can't be lonely, Dom. Where did I put the piece? Quarter life crisis, now I got dementia. I'm losing stuff. All right, Forky now has his little rainbow sticker on his foot. Should I just give him two giant balls of his feet? Oh, that doesn't look right. I guess the real question is, which one is better? Galaxy's Edge Forky or this Forky? <laughs> Let's go see how Dom's cooking is right now. Oh, Dom, what, what are, are you, you cooking for everyone? What are you doing? Stop it. What? It's got the consistency of preserves, of oh, jelly. Why are you making preserves? Because I thought it was easy. Because you saw it on Instagram? Yes. This is like some Walter White stuff. What are you cooking over here in the kitchen? I'm sterilizing the jars so we don't get botulism and die. Drink some Clorox. Everybody. Oh no, that's Corona. It's, it doesn't save, save you from botulism. You look like the dad in holes when he's taking the <laughs> stinky shoes out of the boiling water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dom has finished. I have many questions. Wait, that's it? I know, right? So if you guys are ever trying to make jam like Dom, yeah, about two packages of blueberries makes about that much jam. <laughs> now we have a special guest star this week. That is right, my grandmother. She gave us an update on what is going on with her front yard. Hi, Kevin. I just wanted to call and wish you a happy birthday. And I wanted to show you how well the wheat has grown. Isn't it beautiful? And I also wanted to show you my lovely George Washington hairstyle. This is what happens when you can't get your hair cut. Take care, Kevin. We love you. Have a happy birthday. <laughs> God, she is such a gem. <laughs> you would not believe what I just witnessed on the news today. Restaurants are currently reopening in Florida and also the beaches have been reopening. On the opening day of the beach, this happened. The beaches are fully reopened for the first time in more than a month. And while some residents are happy, some are not. I'm going to step out of the frame and hand him the mic so he can explain why he's here and why he is dressed the way that he is. 
Daniel? Okay, let's pause it right there. We see the hand. Who is about to come on screen? You're probably thinking, is it Darth Vader? Is it O.J. Simpson? Thank you. Yeah, I'm here today. To <laughs> the freaking Grim Reaper, my friends. And not just any Grim Reaper, the most polite Grim Reaper. Thank you. The Grim Reaper kind of goes on about talking why the beaches should be closed and that he is protesting against the beaches being open. I do think what Daniel is doing is great because honestly, I don't feel safe right now. I'm not going to be going to a beach or going out, you know, in the public anytime soon. Thank you, Daniel. Now, Daniel is going to be beginning his protest right I now. I love that he is just like creeping right now, doing a little tilt of the hat like a nice little gentleman. Now, multiple news stations reported on this guy. So let's see what's going on with the other news stations. Hundreds of people from near and far are flocking to Walton County beaches to feel the sand in their toes and the salt water on their skin. The report kind of feels, if you're ever in like high school and you have like a high school TV show, that's what the report kind of feels like. I love the beaches being open. I've been in self-isolation for two months. This is just wonderful. But one local lawyer says, not so fast. Not so fast. I'm dressed as the Grim Reaper. It is obviously just like a Grim Reaper costume purchased from Party City. While he was walking on the beaches today, visitors were unfazed. Now, of course, Floridians are unfazed because this is a normal Tuesday to us. Hashtag the Florida man. Grim Reaper represents death. This is a deadly virus. It's a global pandemic. What is it called when the Grim Reaper takes takes your life? Do they take your soul? And that's what I'm, I'm here for. And I, I wish... I wish I didn't have to do this, but nobody else is doing it. I'm expecting there to be a sci-fi original or some Netflix original based off this guy. Oh, he's got a website. Let's see this. Florida Grim Reaper Tour, an organization for all Americans who refuse to be silenced by bad actors. Let's, let's see who the bad actors are. Hello. I'm Kevin Heimbach. Let's see what's going on with his social media. Let's see the face of Daniel, the true face of death. Could you imagine that as the last thing you see before you die? What are we going to do? I'm dressed as the Grim Reaper. Looks like Daniel is selling tour t-shirts. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to buy one of those t-shirts. He has tour t-shirts. What comes next? Yes, a music video. I love our beat. We are dealing with a deadly virus, and I think it's too soon, but there's a time. See, I saw you when you came in. Did I, I had no reason, yeah. That was straight fire. <laughs> now, during these times of quarantine, many things have been learned. Sir Isaac Newton learned about gravity. Dom's father learned that chicken is not meat. It's not meat, it's poultry. Chicken it's like chicken. a tomato. Tomato is not a vegetable, it's a fruit. Hmm, interesting. Let's debate this. Now guys, write down in the comments what came first, the meat or the poultry? It's not meat, it's poultry. <laughs> now I know you guys have all had many sleepless nights this week, not worrying about the future of the entire human race, but what is going on with the E.T. chip? Now it might look like E.T. is competing in a Fear Factor competition where he's covered in bees. No, those are the chia seeds they have dried. Last time with my Yoda chia pet, I kind of failed, it kind of died. But no, I did research this time. In order to make this guy grow, we have Reese's Pieces, the nectar of the little ET gods. Every day I'm gonna water him, add in a little Reese's Pieces. Oh, oh, that's not a good sign. Well, he's already shedding. Okay, now ET, are you sure you're ready to do this? Yes, that is my middle name, but no, are you sure you're ready? You're not in trouble, I'm not punishing you, I'm not waterboarding you, don't worry. And now, we wait. <laughs> now on YouTube, there's a lot of bad quality content out there, but I found something that was life-changing. There's this little old lady named Melinda. She's this adorable old lady who just plays the guitar, sings, and hangs out with her dog. It's, I could not stop smiling the entire time. Put your hate on my We need a 
protect Melinda at all costs. So you know what that means. My birthday wish for this year is for whenever you guys go out in public, please wear a face mask and practice safe social distancing. Now, I also want to thank you all for the incredible birthday messages that I got from you. Sorry I couldn't respond to everyone, but I really appreciated that. But something happened. We hit 5 million views on YouTube. Oh my God, okay. That is insane. You know why? Because the reason I make YouTube videos is to make people laugh. So that means, hopefully, I know not everyone because I don't think I'm, I'm that funny, but five million people laughed. Now, a laugh can change somebody's day, can change somebody's life, just one laugh. So it's crazy to think that I have affected that many people in a positive way. So I just wanna thank every single person who's ever been in the videos, my crazy roommates, my friends, my family, thank you for putting up with me, with shoving a camera in your face, cause you helped my vision come true, if that makes sense. I just wanna thank all of you for watching the videos and I'm glad you enjoy them. I hope everybody is staying safe and I will see everyone very soon. I love you all. You are now not safe on the sea from him. He will come at you with his paddleboard.